Welcome to Research Talk. I hope you all are doing well. We are together in this journey of understanding reliability and validity in research. If you remember in our previous videos, we talked about what is reliability. Now we will learn what is validity in research. As you know, reliability in research is about consistency of a measurement tool. So if I'm measuring something in, in my research as part of my research study, and if I'm using a tool, a test or uh, any, any kind of testing I'm doing, reliability refers to how consistent are those measurements. When it comes to validity, validity refers to how accurate, how truthful are the claims or the conclusions that a study is making. So every study has certain conclusions. So the question is how accurate, how truthful are those conclusions? So that's what validity refers to. In other words, it's it refers to the extent to which a test or research, whatever it claims, how truthful is that claim? If there is a test, so let's understand it in two contexts. In the context of a test or instrument which is being used for measuring uh, a research construct, here the validity refers to does it really measure what it claims to measure? So if I'm using a test or an instrument to measure, let's say, self-esteem, the question is, does this test measure self-esteem or maybe something else? Maybe, maybe it's measuring self-compassion. So the truthfulness, accuracy of what it claims to measure, does it, does it really measure that construct? So that will be validity of that test in the context of an instrument. Validity in the context of a research study is whatever claims this study is making, whatever conclusion this study is uh, reaching, is that accurate? How truthful, how trustworthy that is? So that's about validity in the context of a research study. So reliability refers to the consistency of a measurement instrument. Validity refers to the, the actual claim, the construct that this test is measuring or the actual claims, conclusions that a study is making, how accurate those claims are. So let's learn different kind of validity that is used in research. Uh, and there are multiple types of validities. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a validity called content validity. As the word itself says content, so when you think about a test, an instrument, content validity refers to the extent to which the content of an instrument is representative of all the components which are inherent in that construct. Let's understand this with an example. Let's say there is a test which claims that it measures level of compassion. So it is a test, a psychological instrument that measure individuals' level of compassion. Now, content validity for this test would refer to the extent to which the items in this scale are representative of the overall components, different components of this construct, which is compassion. So at theoretical level, and let's say this scale has 30 items, Likert-based items. So 
so at theoretical level compassion include sensitivity to others suffering and desire to alleviate suffering so this is at, at a theoretical level how compassion is defined compassion refers to an individual sensitivity to other suffering and desire to alleviate suffering and let's say compassion also refers to ability to understand others suffering now content validity would refer to all these 30 items which this test has do they cover all the components of the theory uh, or the definition or the operational definition of compassion let's say this test has 30 items overall and out of the 30 items this test let's say have 15 items on ability to understand other suffering and let's say it has another 15 items on desire to alleviate suffering at theoretical level this measurement tool which measure claims to measure compassion does not have any items which measure sensitivity to other suffering so we could say that the content validity of this measurement tool is low because it does not include items from one particular domain which represents compassion so that's in summary what content validity is as the, as the name itself suggests content so content validity refers to the extent to which a measurement tool include all theoretical conceptual representation in the items that it claims to measure so in this case we saw that uh, there is a this test which claims to measure compassion however when we look at the items that it has we found that it does not have items from a key component that represent compassion that define compassion so we could say this test has low level of content validity and to rectify that what would i do i would change this say, test and maybe let's say add another 15 items from this component which is sensitivity to other suffering so when a test is developed as a researcher I, I, I want to make sure that the items which I'm including in my test they represent all the components all the theoretical pieces of the construct that it claims to measure so that's briefly about content validity I will see you again in another video talking about another type of validity till then have a good day. See you again.